What's up team, Michael here, and in this video, I'm gonna go into how I almost broke both of my knees or elbows doing CrossFit. More specifically, doing a specific movement in CrossFit. You just already saw the clip. I was doing a squat clean, and I'm kinda gonna go into how it all happened and came to be. And if you're new to CrossFit, I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can avoid this whole thing for yourself and not get injured <laughs> doing CrossFit or any of the movements within CrossFit. CrossFit fails kind of get a bad rap, it's like fails within CrossFit and injuries in general. Most times it comes down to the person actually doing the fail. It's bad on them, not the movement. A squat clean is a very safe movement if done with proper form. I didn't have proper form when I first started, which ultimately resulted in this whole thing. I didn't get injured, but I very well could have. So it all happened back in 2018. I think I was just a few months into CrossFit and immediately I really fell in love with like weightlifting, more specifically the squat clean. Now the reason it was the squat clean is because my, my overhead and just upper body strength was like non-existent pretty much like I was very very weak and my legs I could lift the the heaviest weight like back when I first started CrossFit the deadlift was my favorite movement just because it I thought it looked the most impressive because I could lift the most weight with it um, but I really liked the squat clean and I liked it a little too much my form was all over the place completely awful and that video that you saw, I'll probably play it right now, is I was trying to test a max. I think it was the first time I tried to test a max to see what I could do. I had no prior training on how to do like the cleans other than what you learn in class. It's nothing bad on any of my coaches. I was testing my max in like the open gym, the free gym, where like there's no classes going, no coaches um, instructing anything. It was all on me. And I decided to test my max clean. Now you'll see as I go into the clean, my elbows are like touching my knees. And I've heard of accounts where that's happened to people under heavy weight. And it's like broke their elbows or broke their knees or whatever. That could easily have happened to me. I, I'm gonna play a clip right now. It's when I actually hit the lift. I think it was like 155 pounds or somewhere around there. And my knees, my elbows are touching my knees almost. I think they actually are touching my knees. And then in the second clip, I think it was 165 pounds. I'm like at this point, I was feeling stoked. I mean, I'm about ready to go to the games at this point. <laughs> like how I'm feeling in that video. Because to me, 165 pounds is just so freaking heavy for a squat clean. Anyway, I bailed on that one, but that just crushed me. My elbows are completely touching my knees. Like, I'm lucky something didn't blow out. Now, it is just 165 pounds, but still it's enough weight to cause damage if something goes wrong, which it definitely did. So that's what happened. I was trying to test my max when I shouldn't have been. I was only a few months into CrossFit. So if you're someone new who's starting CrossFit and you're watching this video, I mean, even if you're not new and you've been doing CrossFit for quite a while and there are movements that you're just not good at, your form is terrible. So for me personally, that would be gymnastics. I'm horrible at gymnastics. So this would even apply to me. Focus on form before you ever try to test like a max or max reps or whatever it is. It's just gonna give you a lot more longevity doing CrossFit or doing what you love. So I guess that would be my first tip is just before you test any of your maxes or before you test like your max reps in a specific movement. So like gymnastics, it would be like max reps. Um, focus on the form first. I was really lucky to shortly after that work with actually a really good weightlifting coach at my gym. It gave me a really good base and helped me get to where I am now. But so that would be the first tip. Focus on your form first. I've said this before in other videos, but Matt Fraser said when he first started weightlifting as a kid, his weightlifting coach wouldn't let him max out for years. I don't forget the amount of years, but it was a long time. And he said he was looking around and seeing all the other kids max out and get really strong. But his coach kept on saying, just focus on the form. That's all we're going to focus on. We can max out later. And it's no surprise that Matt Fraser has been so dominant at the CrossFit Games as he has been. 
And the second tip I would give is if you're new to CrossFit and you're trying to max out or you're just trying to do a movement that you're unfamiliar with and you're trying to see how many you can do of the movement or whatever it is, do it in front of someone who knows what they're doing and like don't just do it yourself like when the gym, like after hours or whatever it is. Do it in front of someone who knows what they're doing. I should have been testing my max clean. Well, sh first of all, I probably shouldn't have been testing my max clean when I had like no intro to the the um, form. But like when you are going to test a max for the first time or whatever it is, it can always be a good idea to do it in front of someone who knows what they're doing. Then they can just tell you when to stop. Like I should have stopped long before what you've seen in that video. I should have stopped long before that and just focus on the form. So that would be the second tip. Do it in front of someone who knows what they're doing. And the third tip would be to not ego lift. <laughs> I might do a whole video on this on like how this has affected my CrossFit performance, but especially when you start new, it can be really easy to try to push yourself really hard to get to numbers that other people are hitting in the gym when they've been in there for years. And that's pretty much the whole reason why I was trying to test my max. I just wanted to see how much I could do. I wanted to compare that to other people's numbers. And ego lifting just never ends right. And I might do a whole other video on how ego lifting has like affected my CrossFit performance, giving me muscle imbalances and things like that. But anyway, that's a quick story on that clip. You've pro if you've been a member of the channel for a while, you've probably seen it elsewhere. And I don't know if I've went into the whole story. But let me know in the comments. If you've ever gotten injured doing something stupid like that. Um, but until next time, train hard team and I'll see you in the next one.